Welcome sa ating tutorial Introduction of Share and Bending Moment Diagram So, Share is defined as the algebraic summation of the external forces to the left or to the, to the right of a section that are perpendicular to the axis of the beam So, Bending Moment is the sum of the moments of all of the external forces to the left or to the right of a particular section the moments being taken about an axis through the centroid of the cross section the relationship between load, shear, and bending moment in a beam can be expressed in the following two propositions now to derive these relations Consider the beam AB subjected to any loadings. Now we can introduce the small segment at a distance x and having a length of dx. Now we can isolate the small segment. So, this segment is subjected to shear forces and bending moment. So, we have upward V then clockwise M at the left face of the segment. Then, we have downward V plus DV. Then, counterclockwise M plus DM at the right face of the segment so we have the resultant of intensity w times dx so take note both the shear force and moment acting on the right face must be increased by a small amount or finite amount in order to keep the segment in equilibrium so ito yung dv at saka yung dm so, summation of forces along y is equal to 0. So, considering upward is positive. So, V minus V plus DV minus WDX is equal to 0. So, V minus V minus DV minus WDX is equal to 0. So, V cancelled out. Then, we have DV over DX is equal to the negative W. So, this is the first proposi proposition. States that the rate of decrease of shear with respect to X on any section at a distance X from the left end of the beam is equal to the intensity of load at the section. Now, for the second proposition, so we have point C using summation of moment at point C is equal to 0 considering counterclockwise is positive M plus DM minus M minus V times DX plus W times DX times DX over 2 is equal to 0. So, M cancelled out. Then, the fifth term will be 0. So, dx times dx magiging dx squared. So, very small value, no? So, dm minus v times dx is equal to 0. So, dm over dx is equal to v. So, this is the second proposition states that the rate of increase of bending moment with respect to x on any section at a distance x from the left end of the beam is equal to the shear at the section okay now for the first proposition so dv over dx is equal to the negative w so dv is equal to negative w times dx or the change in shear 
is equal to the area under distributed loading diagram or simply V2 minus V1 is equal to area under load diagram. So this equation is used for making sure diagrams. No? Now for the second proposition, dm over dx is equal to v. So dm is equal to v times dx or the change in moment is equal to the area under shear diagram or simply m2 minus m1 is equal to the area under shear diagram so this equation is used for making moment diagrams so curves for shear and moment diagram so we have load shear and moment diagram no? so if the load diagram increasing the curve of the shear diagram is opening upward kapag decreasing ang curve ng shear diagram is opening downward now for the shear so if the shear diagram increasing the curve of moment diagram is opening downward so if decreasing the curve of moment diagram is opening upward so take note no so if the load diagram is a curve of degree n then the shear diagram will be a curve of degree n plus 1 no? for example if the load diagram is uniform the shear diagram will be linear so if the shear diagram is a curve of degree n then the moment diagram will be a curve of degree n plus 1 for example if the shear diagram is linear the moment diagram will be parabolic okay now let's go to the example no? draw the shear and moment diagram of the figure shown and locate the point of inflection from A so we have beam no? simple supported beam subjected to distributed load or uniformly distributed load of 5 kN per meter then we have point load at C so 20 kN so solution no? so we have to construct the free bell diagram so it's showing all forces AX, AY by then the resultant of uniformly distributed load of 5 kN per meter so 20 times 5 is equal to 100 kN at a distance 10 meters from A so solve for reactions so summation of forces along x is equal to 0 no? so by inspection x equals to 0 so summation of moment at point A is equal to 0 considering counterclockwise is positive so by times 20 minus 100 times 10 minus 20 times 25 is equal to 0 so by equals to 75 kN upward now for the summation of forces along y is equal to 0 considering upward is positive ay is equal to or ey plus 75 minus 100 minus 20 is equal to 0 so ay is equal to 45 kN so upward no?
Now for the shear diagram. So initially at point A we have 45 kilonewtons. Using the first proposition V2 minus V1 is equal to negative W times dx. Now considering segment AB so we have VB minus VA is equal to the area of segment AB under load diagram so we have VB minus 45 is equal to negative 5 times 20 so area ng load diagram no? so VB is equal to 55 or negative 55 kilonewtons na so we have negative 55 kilonewtons so since the load is uniform the shear diagram will be linear no? then we have the reaction 75 kilonewtons so 75 kilonewtons minus 55 is equal to 20 then along BC so wala tayong load so 20 pa rin no? then we have the horizontal no? then at point C we have 20 kilonewtons downward so 20 minus 20 is equal to 0 so ito yung shared diagram no? so we have point of zero shear no? at point O at a distance X from point A no? so solve for X so considering the segment AO no? so VO minus VA is equal to the area of AO under load diagram so since VO is equal to zero so negative 45 is equal to 5 times x so area ng load at along segment AO no so x is equal to 9 meters so if the x is equal to 9 meters ang OB natin is 11 meters now for the moment diagram So we have point A, point O, point B, point C. Now using the second proposition, so we have M2 minus M1 is equal to V times dx. So considering the segment AO, so we have MO minus MA is equal to the area of segment AO under shear diagram so initially we have a zero moment at point A no? so we have MO is equal to one half times 45 times 9 no? area of the triangle MO is, uh, is equal to 202.50 kilonewton meter So, from point A is equal to 0, no? yung moment. Up to point O, we have 202.50 kilonewton meter. So, since the shear is decreasing, so from 45 kilonewtons up to 0. So, decreasing yan, no? So, the curve is opening upward, no? We have second degree curve, no? So, share natin is linear, then the curve of the moment diagram will be parabolic. Now, considering the segment OB, so we have MB minus MO 
is equal to the area of segment OB under shear diagram. So, MB minus MO. So, we have 202.5 is equal to the area of triangle, 1 half times negative 55 times 11. So, MB is equal to negative 100 kilonewton meter. So, we have negative 100 kilonewton meter. Then, i-connect natin yan, no? sa From point O up to point B. So, since the shear decreasing from point R, from point O is equal to 0 ang shear yan, up to the negative 55. So, this is decreasing. No? Kung gagamitin natin yung Y coordinates. So, we have the second degree chord, no? Then, opening upward. So, considering segment BC, so we have MC minus MB is equal to the area of BC under shear diagram. So, we have MC minus um, negative 100 is equal to 20 times 5. So, rectangular no? yung BC. So, MC is equal to 0. So, since the shear diagram is uniform, so the moment diagram will be linear. So, ito yung moment diagram. Okay. Now, for the point of inflection from A, so note that the point of inflection occurs where moment is 0. So, we have point D at a distance Z from point O, no? Then, we have the required D at point uh, uh, from point A. So, we have, para makuha natin yung, yung required D at saka Z, kailangan nating isolve yung Y. Uh, solve for Y. So, by ratio and proportion, so Y over Z is equal to 55 over 11. Or simply Y is equal to 5 times Z. So, uh, MD, or considering the segment OD, no? so MD minus MO is equal to the area of OD under shear diagram. So, MD is equal to 0. So, andyan yung point of inflection no? sa D. So, 0 yung moment. So, we have moment O. 202.50 is equal to the area of triangle no so time ah uh, one half times negative 5z times z so yung z is equal to 9 meters so therefore so d is equal to so 9 plus 9 is equal to 8, 18 meters from a no Ito yung point of reflection from A. Okay.